What's up everybody? How's it going? It's Wednesday. I was vlogging on Monday and Tuesday, but I just stopped short. I only did like one vlog video, so I need to get more done today. I have a solution that I... The problem was I was recording videos, and then, like, do you ever have the problem where you're editing the videos, and so the SD card is in your camera, and then you need to vlog, but then if you take the camera out, the card out, the video doesn't get made. So, anyways, I have that mostly mostly solved here today is wednesday as i mentioned the week is already halfway over it's going really good though i'm excited about it i'll tell you more about that in a second right now i gotta do a call so i'm gonna jump on also look at what i got it's a ring light pretty cool thanks to my beautiful gorgeous wife so thanks my love okay let's do a call get some stuff done i'll tell you how things are going what's up with this week so far, so good, in general. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. <sighs> okay, so today's going great. Um, I have a call with actually Facebook here in just a second. Um, I my client brett that we got our ads disabled um i set up a call with the account expert just in case we weren't enabled again so i just wanted to make sure that we would get that um i didn't cancel that call so i'm going to talk to them i will see if there's anything interesting i'll probably just put it on speaker and record it here and if there's any kind of really good insight or something i'll publish that here but I'm, i don't know it's really hit or miss with these facebook experts they just kind of have a policy like that's super they're always pushing um slideshow ads they're like make a video slideshow out of your images that's like their big tip all the time and that's not super helpful but um other than that it's just as good to try to open communication have some lines of communication right before that right before this call though i just did get a call from facebook they said they were trying to feature one of my clients in a speaking panel for facebook which is kind of cool um, I don't know if that's legit or not, um, but we'll see. So anyways, going to get to it um, and do this call right now. I've got uh, ad campaigns that i got to work on. I've got to build out um, some syncing. So here's some Facebook right now. Calling. This is Brandon. Hi, this is Money Quick Facebook on a recorded line. How are you? Good, Monique. How are you doing? Doing really well, thank you. I'm calling for an appointment. Is it still a good time? Yep, it's great. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Um, let me have you please verify the last four numbers of the ad account. A marketing plan. Um, just basically help you implement best practices um, and help you better understand the platform that you're already marketing on. Um, so for a 20-minute call today, if you wouldn't mind... Start us off, tell me a little bit about what you've been doing to advertise here um, on the platform, and also if you have any goals for our conversation today as well, let me know what those are. Um, so, uh, based on everything that I'm seeing, based on everything that I'm hearing, um, I do want to make some recommendations. Uh, so, the look-alike audience, that's typically your most relevant audience as far as prospecting goes, especially if you create it based off of a very relevant source, like let's say um, people that have already signed up or people that have already purchased. Um, if you create a look-alike audience based off of those people, um, then that is typically your most relevant source. And some things that help with the cost um, you could create a look-alike audience um, based off of, again, like purchasers or people that sign up um, and make that look-alike audience at like a 2 or 3% and then use that as your prospecting audience and not putting in any additional details in the targeting and run that um, typically has the best engagement and the best result from what I've seen uh, with businesses who are, you know, looking for prospecting and, you know, wanting to get in front of a very relevant audience. Uh, what we believe to be one of the best practices as far as marketing is concerned is that your primary focus 
uh, the majority of the time should be on prospecting, um, and then your secondary focus um, should be on retargeting, which usually means like, um, you know, a good portion of your budget, like 70% of your budget typically goes towards prospecting, and then the other 30 or so, you know, goes towards um, retargeting. So if you... How about new? You crazy. Like. So to be honest, I wouldn't assume that this would be disapproved at all, and I don't have any notation um, on here anymore as to why it didn't get approved. The only thing I can think of, the only thing at all I can think of, is that um, it's focusing on a single part of the body, which is just the mouth, or um, that it's not intuitive by looking at it what it is. So you, you, you're right when you say that, you know, a dentist a, can, a dentist will look at it and know exactly what it is, but you and me, we look at it and we don't, and maybe that's the reason. Do you see a serious increase in benefit or like cost per action versus a 1% look like audience? Like, um... So, we are getting 2.1 million potential targets for a 1%, right? And if we're targeting right. veterinary professionals, probably in the U.S., there's a target market of, like, 350,000 professionals total. Uh -huh. And so, like, do you see increasing that, that pool that you're picking up ones that you'd missed with the 1% look like audience? Or um, what's your opinion on that one? So, um, I've... Of course, you want to keep it as relevant as possible, and that's the uh, attraction to using the 1% because it's going to hold the most relevance um, towards the audience it was created from. Um, but I have seen better, um, seen where businesses have had better um, cost and luck with building those bigger, um, like 2 and 3% audiences that are still very relevant but um, provide just basically a bigger audience. For, uh, to find um, the relevant users. If you're saying that the total canine dentists in the United States are less than a million, um, then you're right. It would probably not be more beneficial for you to create a larger audience because the 1% at 2.1 million should be sufficient. Okay, cool. Like a good idea. So... Run it. So best practices there uh, when you're trying to run for pro when you're prospecting, especially if you're uh, doing prospecting and running to the website, um, you want to run a conversion campaign so you can find the highest intent users um, that are you know most likely to go from the platform to the website, and then for your retargeting audience, um, it's usually a best practice to do a traffic campaign. So conversion campaign for prospecting and then a target campaign for um, retargeting. What's what's the conversion event that we're optimizing for with uh, website traffic? I would do landing page. Landing page views? Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. I've never tested that audience before, so I will do that. All right, so that call was not super helpful in general. It was like, okay, the one thing that she's mentioned was optimizing for landing page views as a conversion event. That's interesting. I've never done that before. I've always optimized for clicks, if that was my goal, and getting traffics. Um, traffic, not traffics. I'm not a smart man. So that's one thing that was kind of interesting, definitely worth the test. Also interesting, she said to shoot for a 2 and 3% lookalike audience on prospecting. I don't know that that makes a difference. Um, and just in general, nothing, that, what was good at feedback was that she looked at the ads that were disapproved and she said, I don't know why that would be disapproved. And so, um, at least I don't feel like I'm crazy, <laughs> but other than that, not super helpful. If you've ever had a meeting with a Facebook rep, how has it been? Has it been interesting? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. I think that if I got a rep, that would be cool. I don't actually have a rep. I have a marketing expert. And uh, I don't think those people are running ads. If they were good at running ads, they would be selling stuff because make more money, right? Anyways, I know that's cynical. Whatever. Um, that's it. I'm going to get back to work here. And uh, 
anyways, I'm gonna get get to working. Okay. All right. So um, today's going great. It's just been a solid week so far of getting. I have a few new clients, which is really cool that I'm onboarding. Been creating tons of campaigns, getting really good results on some pay-per-click ads. Also super excited because I had some people comment on the video um, that was if you want to start an agency, um, then if, by the way, I'll link that video right here. It's the vlog where I talk about what I want to do with this channel and grow it with trainings and things. So that's really cool. So um, super excited about that. Also excited, um, Bennett is starting to take steps and he's doing really good at like walking around and stuff. There's some video of that. And uh, anyways, and just in general, it's really, solid and everything's going well tomorrow's valentine's day i have already prepared and i'm not procrastinating for that next week is my anniversary just awesome stuff so that's really exciting i think that um looking forward to building out all of the training systems that i have coming on here in just a little bit um so it should should work out really good if uh by the way, if you are watching and if you want to build a digital marketing agency, be sure to comment below. I will send you my email. I'm going to be creating trainings that I can help people um, learn how to do digital marketing as an agency. And hopefully once they take the trainings that I'm going to create, it'll be like a certification where then I know that they know what they need to know to do the work and then um, use this channel as a way to actively bring on people who want to work in the agency who show that they are um, proficient in the work that they can do and then basically we'll split the work and manage workflows and things like that so um i'll have more details on that as soon as everything's up and ready but uh as for right now um that just working away got a lot of work to do right now and a lot of work today i think this is probably going to do it for um the vlog just because it's 2 30 already i probably have another three hours of work that i got to get done in an hour and a half or so um so i really got to focus here um and that everything's going really well i mean posting consistently i have workflows solid down for um, my videos also i'm seeing some consistent growth inside of the youtube channel ranking for videos and things definitely be doing some videos on how to rank for long tail low competitive keywords because that's the strategy I'm using to build this channel. It's probably how, if you came on another video, um, it's probably how you found out about it because we're getting rankings on a lot of really good search for phrases here, um, which is cool. So um, that's kind of it right now. I'm gonna go and just probably get a coffee really quick. And then after that, that'll do it. So we'll see if there's any more vlog, but this might be the end of it. <laughs>